Here with a few storms. Here's Chief Meteorologist Joe Diaz. <laughs> well, yesterday we had a below normal temperature of 85 degrees, but uh, as expected, the warming trend is back on. So that cooling trend was brief. We have some isolated scattered storms to work around over the next couple of days. Pockets of heavy rain. We'll show you the more favored areas coming up. Then temperatures rising back above normal. That's going to start tomorrow and then turning drier toward the weekend. Here's what we're looking at. First of all, this area tomorrow, you can see it in the shade of green. That means there's the potential for some heavy downpours here. Doesn't mean everyone's going to get wet, but if you get the right storm in the right place, there could be some heavy rain. So be alert for that. Now we have high pressure now it's scooted back over our area. So we did have the warmer temperatures, which you're feeling right now, and showers and thunderstorms wrapping around it. Now, this high is not going to really move all that much for tomorrow. So we'll still have more heat and limited storms, but the storms that do fall could have some heavy rain. We're really concerned about the burn scars, especially. It looks to be more active across the northern parts of New Mexico tomorrow than what we had today. So keep that in mind. Now, as we move on into Thursday with that high shifting to the east, these showers and thunderstorms could roll off the central mountains and then scoot on into Albuquerque and Santa Fe, at least on a scattered basis. So we're giving that a little bit of an uptrend for the showers and storms before we get into a drier pattern that will be working in over the weekend. So as we look at tomorrow, a dry start with temperatures in the 60s. We'll get ready for an isolated shower and thunderstorm in the afternoon. And then by 7 o'clock, it looks like things will be clearing with partly to mostly cloudy skies. As we uh, look at the forecast for tomorrow, showers and thunderstorms in the north, triple digit heat building across southeastern parts of the state and pretty warm across southwestern parts of New Mexico as well. Then there's that little upswing. Realize the high pressure system moves to the east, so drier and hotter underneath it, but those showers and thunderstorms will start to work from the central mountain chain and really pile up across the Gila and the west central mountains. And then notice how drier air continues to work in central and eastern sections of the state with limited storms northern and west. And the more we get into the extended forecast, more that monsoon plume will be working over Arizona. So 80s and 90s throughout the Four Corners region forecast will have some isolated to widely scattered showers and thunderstorms through Friday before it's uh, drier and hot over the upcoming weekend. Mid 90s throughout Socorro on into truth or consequences. Showers look to ramp up a bit more on Thursday and then dry out as we get into Saturday, Sunday and Monday southeast to 83 in Ruidoso. They had a good downpour across the city today. Uh, 93 in Alamogordo and then look at Roswell. We're back into the triple digits all the way through the rest of the week and all the way through the upcoming weekend. So kind of keep it easy there during the hot times of the day. Now storms will form in the mountains and then drop off into eastern parts of the state. There could be some pockets of heavy rain. Notice that the drier air does start to work in toward the latter portion of the work week on into the weekend. 85 in Taos, showers and thunderstorms forming around the mountains. There could be some pockets of heavy rain at times. Showers and thunderstorms a little bit more active throughout Santa Fe on Thursday. It's going to roll off the Sangre Cristo Mountains and work more toward the metro areas there and then drier as we get into the upcoming weekend and the metro area. It'll be quiet in the morning, hot in the afternoon with room for those isolated storms around. Now the thunderstorms a little bit more active as we get into the Thursdays as they roll off the Sandias and the Mazanos and they work toward the uh, more metropolitan areas like Albuquerque. As we go on into Friday, Saturday and Sunday, we get into that hot and breezy pattern with temperatures back above average. So uh, yeah, the one thing I like about this forecast right here is a better chance for showers and thunderstorms mm -hmm. yeah. by Thursday because it's been pretty sparse during uh -huh. this time. But yeah, dry and hot again.